Good morning. How is everybody doing? I'm glad that we could meet again today. I know this isn't how we normally meet, but maybe it's a little different for everybody and a little more uh, exciting. Um, you can sit in your homes and we can worship together. And like we always say, whenever we have to go to uh, worship in the cafeteria, when it's raining or the weather's bad, that it doesn't matter where we meet, but it's just that we are meeting. And I guess today we can say it doesn't really matter how we meet, um, because God tells us in Matthew 18 that when two or three are gathered in his name, God is there with them. And so I'm just glad that we can meet together and that we can come together once again and enjoy uh, God's blessings that he has for us today. And how do we always begin our lessons? And how do we always begin our chapel? That's right, right? We begin with the benediction, right? And so, sorry, not the benediction. We begin with the invocation, right? The invocation. What does the invocation mean? It means that we're invoking God's name, right? We are telling everybody who it is that we worship and in whose name that we are gathered. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, boys and girls. Please join me in singing Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died. Heaven's gates to open wide. He will wash away my sin. Let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. All right, that was wonderful. I love the way everybody's singing. I could hear you all the way from your home. Can you imagine that? Um, so that was beautiful. And Jesus truly does love us. And so today we're going to hear about how he loves us. And I think this is a good lesson for today and under our circumstances. And this is from the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5 and 6. And it tells about how Jesus cares for us. It says, Jesus said, I have not come to get rid of God's word of law or the prophets. I have come to keep them. Whoever keeps them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. You have heard, you shall not kill. But I say that everyone who is angry with his brother will have God's judgment. Again, you have heard, you shall not lie when you take an oath. Instead, do what you have promised. But I say to you, do not take an oath. Simply say yes or no. And you have heard, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say, love your enemies. Pray for those who are mean to you, so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. And Jesus wanted everyone to know how much our Heavenly Father loves his children. And so Jesus talked to the people with him about how God cares for the flowers and the birds. So Jesus said, Do not worry about what you will eat or what you will drink. Do not worry about your body and what you will put on. Life is more than food. The body is more than clothing. Look at the birds of the air. They do not plant seeds or gather food into barns. Yet your Heavenly Father feeds them. You are worth more than they are. Can you add a single hour of your life? You can, can you add a single hour to your life? Do you worry about clothes? Think about the flowers of the field. They do not work or spin to make their clothing. Yet even Solomon in all his glory was not dressed like one of these. If God clothes the grass of the field which is alive today and tomorrow is gone, he will give you clothes, O ye of little faith. Do not worry. Do not say, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? 
Your heavenly Father knows you need all these things, but he seeks first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will have its own troubles. And this is the word of the Lord. All right, boys and girls, please join me in singing Jesus Loves the Little Children. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red, brown, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus died for all the children, all the children of the world. Red, brown, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus died for all the children of the world. Jesus rose for all the children, all the children of the world. Red, brown, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus rose for all the children of the world. All right, thank you very much. That was wonderful again. So, when we heard for today from Matthew, we see Jesus is here, it's called the Sermon on the Mount, and he's talking about all of the things that we sometimes worry about, and we, we especially today, right? We're not in school, and maybe our parents are worried, and we might be worried, when are we gonna get to come back to school and see our friends and our teachers and learn in our classrooms? But Jesus tells us, don't worry about all those things. Look at the birds in the air. Do they go fly around worrying about how their nest is going to be and what they're going to eat for the day and, and any of that stuff? And we know the answer is no, they don't. And how much more precious are you than the birds of the air or the flowers of the field? You're so much more precious because we know that, that God loves us with all his heart and all of all of his soul and all, all that he is. He loves us so much that he sent Jesus, his only son, you know, to die on the cross for all of us so that we could have a relationship with him. And therefore, we don't have to worry about uh, what's going on. Now, we need to be safe and we need to be smart, washing our hands all the time and, and doing what our parents tell us and being nice to our brothers and sisters when we're at home. But we don't need to worry about what's going to happen because we're in the hands of our loving Father, and He will always be here to watch over us and to love us and to care for us. So why don't we bow our heads and close our eyes and let's fold our hands and let's say a prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for being my Savior and dying for me on the cross and rising for me so that I can have life with you. And it's in your name that we pray. Amen. And now we can pray the prayer that our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, let's close with one of your favorite songs. I'm in right, out right, up right, down right, happy all the time. And we'll do it just like we always do, two times through, fast, first time a little slow, and then the second time through a little faster. Okay, ready? I'm in right, out right, up right, down right, happy all the time. I'm in right, out right, up right, down right, happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin, I'm in right, out right, up right, down right, happy all the time. I'm in right, up right, up right, down right, happy all the time. I'm in right, up right, up right, down right, happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin, I'm in right, up right, up right, down right, happy all the time.
All right, that was great. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day, and that the rest of your day will be uh, filled with learning and the love of God. And so now that we've come together and we've received all of God's blessings, let us receive one more blessing. Remember, what do we call this? That's right, we call it the benediction. It is that final blessing that we, uh, that we leave with. And so we can take this blessing with us and share it with all the people that God puts in our lives. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Good morning, boys and girls. I miss seeing you all today in chapel, but I'm so happy that Pastor Krieg was able to share with you this week's Bible story. And it's an important one as we remember that we have nothing to worry about because Jesus takes care of us and he is always with us. I hope that you sang along with me when I shared some Jesus songs with you this morning. I definitely miss seeing your smiling faces and hearing your sweet voices. Know that you and your families are in my prayers. And I hope that you can enjoy this extra special time at home with your families. Most of all, remember that Jesus loves each of you very, very much. Until next week, bye-bye.